find the two binomials that multiply to the polynomial below. All right, well, before you solve this problem with me, I suggest you pause the video and try it on your own. Okay, so we could go through all of these and test them out, but an easy way to deal with this, uh, there are two ways, I'll show them really quickly. One is to set up an area model. We know that the area of this area model is literally this trinomial here. We're trying to find which binomial pair multiplies to them. So the first thing I would do is set up my four quadrants here. And I know I need two numbers that multiply to x squared. All right, so I'm going to put the x squared here. And I'm also going to need two numbers that multiply to negative 14. All right, so here, to continue, I would just say that to get an area of x squared, we need x by x, right? So we'll assume that this is x, which is also means this is x, and this is x right here, so this area is x squared. Okay, so we're almost done. Now we have two numbers that multiply to negative 14. What are they? Well, there's lots of factors of negative 14, right? But the key is to rec recognize they've got to add to 5 as well. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. So what factors of negative 14, not positive, but negative 14, don't forget your sign there, add up to positive 5? Well, the answer is 7 and 2. Now to get negative 14, we need to multiply by both positive 7 and negative 2. Now what happens here? Let's, 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 so 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. What else is going on here? Let's just check this. I mean, we have the answer. You'll see what I mean. But let's check it anyway. So this region right here, the upper right-hand region, negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And this lower left region is x by 7, or 7x. Now to check that our answer is right, and always you always want to check here, we've got x squared, right? So right, x squared. Negative 2x, we're going to add it to 7x. We get 5x. Awesome. And then we still have this negative 14 here. Notice that, that this does give us our original expression. So what two binomials am I writing here? Well, we have x minus 2 and x plus 7. That's our answer. In other words, we can factor this thing into two binomials. We can, it's the same thing as x minus 2 times x plus 7. Um, and again, you can see that we had to add negative 2x and 7x to get 5x here in the middle. In other words, the two factors that multiply negative 14 have to also add to 5. So here the answer is you have all these choices. You can see is choice B here. All right, hope that helped.